Back at it today with the Pagoda. We're going to be uh, looking at the paint still. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, paint correction on the remainder of the car. I already started on the front end and uh, it's looking really nice. So check it out and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To start off, I went ahead and used um, Wizards. Um, turbo compound and, and that compound has um, a lot of coarse abrasive you know uh, chemicals in there and it cuts it's a heavier cutting compound so it'll get out your deeper scratches scuffs and whatnot and if there's any kind of paint nicks or something like that it'll it'll get that out this stuff works really well. I wanted to kind of compare it um, with Menzerna. I ran out of the Menzerna product and this stuff by all means was not a cheap product. It did cost me $50 for the bigger container of it. And it did do uh, very well with, uh, with the buffer. And as you can see, I mean, the car is nice and shiny with just the first step. And I did do all three steps here. Uh, after this uh, step, I did do the um, 2500 and then the 3000 with Menzerna. And uh, of course, you have to change the pads that you were using. Um, you want to start off with your more coarse pad and then uh, work your way up to a finer pad. To um, And after that, you could uh, even apply a coat of wax and uh, seal everything. Um, just a light coat and that just does wonders for the paint and it looks fantastic now I don't know which route I'm gonna go with this car. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it um, Or if I'm gonna leave it and just touch up some spots and just enjoy it. Um, I do have um, Some cool uh, ideas and things I'm gonna be doing to it uh, That I will be sharing with you guys. I mean look at this section right here. Look at how nice that looks um, and uh don't worry about the uh, pad. I didn't want to toss it out, and I knew that the paint on this was kind of rough, so uh, I actually didn't have any other ones. Um, and every time you catch an edge, like on, on the window trim here, it'll just shred it, so you got to be careful. And when you're doing this kind of buffing, if you have a newer car, you're going to want to tape off all the uh, rubber seals, or at least you know try to avoid them as much as you can, because if you get compound in there, It'll dry in there, especially in the sun, and, and it's very tough to get that stuff out, and it just, just looks ugly. Um, you can also do your taillights, headlights with this stuff as well. And uh, as you can see here, the paint is single stage. So, I mean, on the roof, it looks like, uh, you know, during the first initial respray, it was um, hardly coated properly, so it's just uh, lacking paint on there. And uh, you're gonna want to go over the rust because if you if you do buff it enough, <laughs> it, it will come to a luster. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was trying to get as close as I could to the edges, but um, yeah, that's all pretty much surface rust. <clears throat> I would love to do a full paint um, restoration on this car, so uh, I just don't know if my funds will allow it. So. I'll keep you guys up to date on what I'm going to do with that. And um, as the video progresses, you will notice um, that the paint does come out looking great um, for what it is, I guess. Just uh, from far away, it'll, it'll have a shine to it. So um, just wanted to see how...
final step to the paint. It is the Manzerna 3000 compound um, with the finest pad. And uh, the pad is a little bit shredded too because, like I said before, I'm catching edges on the metal and stuff. And uh, with this car and this condition paint, I didn't really care. Um, obviously, everything's kind of tired anyway, so I don't have to be specifically very careful. Um, it does come out amazing, though. I mean, I was I was blown away by the quality of the paint still after so many years. I mean, it was sitting for 20 years and covered in all kinds of grease, grime, and dirt. Now, for those of you that didn't know, the doors on the Pagodas are aluminum as well as the hood and the trunk lid. So just to reduce weight, that uh, that's what Mercedes did on these cool little roadsters. thing of any of my cars that I find uh, that have been sitting for a long time is just cleaning them up and getting them looking uh, like they are intended to be and uh, you know as you can see this this car it looks night and day difference from when I found it and uh, I hope uh, I could bring it back to its former glory with some fresh paint in the future but uh, if you guys uh, like my videos, make sure to comment, subscribe, have any suggestions or anything. Shoot me a message um, in the comments section.